Hello everybody, like you, masks like these have been on my mind a lot lately just because of global events and one question that I've gotten a fair bit over the last last couple years has been what kind of mask to wear while we're carving our opal. Now I will say, if you're carving opal and you're doing it with a rotary tool, with a, I don't know, flat lap, with cabbing wheels, no matter what you're using, always use water. Because silicosis is no joke and it's really that fine, tiny silica dust, fine, tiny little silica dust that comes off these opals. We don't grind away colour, we just create this tiny powder and you don't want to breathe that in. So anything that will block that is perfectly fine to use, but still use water. It's You need the water to keep your bits and your opals cool anyway, so Nova Tips, never use them dry. So it should be a given that everyone's using water, but on top of that I do recommend using a mask. If you've got a drip feed of water then you can keep it wet pretty much 100% of the time, but if you're dunking like I do so I can record on camera, even though I'm going to change that soon, you'll see a, see a bit of a modification to my cage. But if, yeah, if you're doing anything and you think there's a chance of dust, you might as well wear a mask. They're not that uncomfortable, some are more comfortable than others. And I've got a whole range here, so we'll just go through it. So this is the big boy. This is a half face mask, you can get different types of filters, they screw in, I've just screwed this other one off. And it's just got a little breather and locked end here. And it's pretty snug, it compresses against your face pretty well. And you're not going to get any, as long as you've got the right type of filters, just particle filters, these are actually fume filters so they're even stronger. These are going to block out basically everything, you've got no worries at all, but they are expensive and yeah, changing filters and stuff is a bit of a pain. On the opposite end of the scale we've got masks like these. So if you're doing woodwork or something and you've got sawdust, this is where I use something like this. But you can see that, well you can see my fingers behind the mask, it's very, very thin. and some some of that really fine silica dust I feel like it could possibly get through because I can see some big air gaps. So keep sawdust out, not so great for everything else. This is a little bit better but I find that the way they fit to your face is a little bit uncomfortable with big gaps coming out the sides, out the top, out the bottom. It, it just doesn't feel overly secure for me so I would suggest at a minimum to use something like this. So this is P2 rated. I did have a card showing a few few different um, things but I can't really find that right now. So this is P2 rated and it's just it's just like these other two but kind of combined and it's just a lot thicker, it's a lot more snug, it's got the two straps which I think is pretty important. If you've got something with two straps you can get that connection to your face much better. Uh, it's going to be a struggle if you've got a beard or anything but that's that's the same with all these masks pretty much. And yeah, it's it's pretty good. A nice thick cloth all round. I would say this is something that will make you feel a lot safer about breathing any of that opal dust. So that's the minimum I use. They're not very expensive. I mean, these cost next to nothing and you can buy them in massive packs. But even this, this comes out of a 20 pack and they're just disposable. Then there's something like these. So these are a step above. So this one's rated as a P2 as well, a P2 mask. But it's um, it's got this activated charcoal added in there, so it's a bit, I don't know, a bit fancier, just a slight step above. It's fairly comfy, but uh, I don't know, it depends on how much you like foam. Foam on your nose. It, for me, I don't like this one very much at all. But, of course, it will get the job done. P2. It's a bit clothy, so it looks a bit high quality. So this one here is a P2GV. It's slightly above the P2, and it all it does is has a, has a little bit of extra protection against fumes and stuff, which doesn't really bother us anyway. So it's well and truly fine to use. It's gonna work. To me, this is a lot more comfortable than using something like the foam. But at the same time, these are far more expensive and also they're just not really, they're a bit overkill. A little bit overkill. So I would say anything that just P2, double straps, 
Doesn't really need any kind of fancy no sealing kind of device, just the metal strips are fine and you're basically going to be safe. If you use water well enough you'll not really need the mask at all but I wear one just as a precaution anyway because sometimes you get too into it and the bits dry out too quick. If you're in a hot room like I am now it's 36 degrees in here so I'm sweating up a storm. But yeah it's this is enough. This is definitely enough for that fine silica. I am looking to scientifically test a little bit of silica dust and stuff from carving process to actually find out how large it actually is on a micron scale. So if I get any updates on that you'll see that on the channel. But apart from that I'm gonna chuck this bad boy back on and get to carving a little bit of opal. So I'll see you in the next one.